Good morning, PHS. I'm Matt Reisner, and today is Thursday, March 2nd, 2017. And today, PTV has a new honorary guest. My co-host this week is no other than Hudson Yoder. Thanks for joining us, Hudson. Thanks, Matt. I'm happy to be here. All right, guys. There's a lot to get to today, so without further ado... PTV News starts right now. Topping our show today, let's get started with your SRT meetings, PHS. Sunshine is meeting in room 203, Prayer is meeting in 207. Then after school robotics, you guys will meet in room 141. When it wins, you guys are in the music wing and the girls basketball team is having their banquet tonight. The PHS Prom Club will be having a rummage sale on Saturday, March 18th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. right here. If you have any items you might like to donate towards the rummage sale, please contact Mrs. Evanston, Mrs. Colling, Mrs. Weaver, Mrs. Marquette, Mrs. Watson, or Mrs. Doerr. All of them are junior class sponsors. Any of one of them will be able to help you. PHS, as you guys know, the spring is almost here, and you know what that means, spring break. This year, just like last year, we have two weeks off from school, March 27th through April 7th to be exact. Are you going on a trip, staying home, traveling the world? PTV would love to know where you are heading and what you'll be doing. Just hashtag PTV at PHS this spring break while posting your pictures on any form of social media. We love to share some of your pictures on our show once we get back. In case you haven't heard, the 2017 PHS Prom will be held Saturday, April 29th. Treat's Bridal Shop here in Plymouth is usually closed on Sundays, but to accommodate both guys and girls who are still looking for the right outfit, the stores here in Plymouth will be open from noon to 4 p.m. this su Sunday. The business is located at 308 North Michigan Street, and their staff will be ready to serve you when you walk in the door. Ladies, to check out some of their selections of formal dresses, log on to treatbridalshop.com. The fifth annual Plymouth Prom Chicken Noodle Carryout Dinner fundraiser is right around the corner. Next Friday, March 10th, from 3.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Tickets are $7 for a full meal, which includes chicken and noodles, mashed potatoes, and a roll. The chicken noodle carryout dinner features Harrington Noodles, a sure crowd pleaser. Carryout pickup is at the Plymouth High School Circle Drive by the front doors. Money raised will be used to buy extras for the prom, such as decorations, supplies, food, and door prices for the after prom. To purchase tickets, all you have to do is email Mrs. Edmonston. If you have any family members who graduated from PHS and they were involved in the speech and debate team, this next story might just be the opportunity they are looking for. This Saturday, March 4, 2017, the National Speech and Debate District Solo Tournament will take place at Plymouth High School. The event begins around 7.45 a.m. and will likely last until 7 p.m. PHS Speech and Debate events organizers, organizers are in need of volunteer judges for this important district speech tournament. Volunteers are welcome to stay a few hours or the entire day. Former PHS Speech and Debate alums or Speech and Debate alumni who, from nearby schools who live in the Mission area, area are encouraged to contact Plymouth High School speech and debate coach Charlotte Tyree via phone here at PHS just, or just email her at ctyree at phs.k12.in.us. Plymouth High School is not only for event judges, but anyone in, interested in helping out at the event as well. Looking for a tasty treat? Then come on down to the Sugar Shack. The Sugar Shack Bakery is open 8 to 6, Tuesday through Friday, and 8 to noon on Saturday. Don't forget, every day after school from 3 to 6, we have happy hour where all of our fresh baked goodies are half price. Stop by Sugar Shack today at 401 East Jefferson in Plymouth, Indiana.
All right, switching gears now to PTV Sports, let's check out the PTV Sports Rundown. Nothing is lined up for tonight, but on Friday, there's a boys' indoor track meet at CMA and a girls' indoor track meet at CMA as well, both at 515. There's also the boys' IHSA basketball sectionals at South Bend, Washington at 6 p.m. Well, due to high demand of people wanting to take part in the PTV Super Bowl contest, the PTV Sports Department will be having another upcoming contest. And this one will be even bigger than the last. Get ready for the first ever PTV March Madness Bracket Contest, where the winner will receive a $50 gift card to Buffalo Wild Wings. So don't miss out on the contest. Next week, the PTV crew will tell you how you can fill out a bracket and be automatically entered into their contest. Yeah, and speaking of that Super Bowl contest, as you might remember, the Super Bowl score was 34 to 28 Patriots. The two closest to predicting that score was Mr. Copes and Hamza Yassin. We used Random Selector and Hamza was awarded a $25 gift card from Wings and Mr. Copes cashed in with a $15 gift card to Wings as well. Congrats to both of our winners and shout out to photojournalist Juan Garcia for capturing the prize delivery. Switching gears to college ball. On Sunday, PTV photojournalist Josie Coons and Anna Height had the opportunity to cover the Notre Dame basketball game as they took on Georgia Tech. The Irish, ranked 21st on Sunday, had a chance to avenge a loss earlier on in the season to Georgia Tech on the road and took out the Yellow Jackets with a score of 64 to 60. Notre Dame is now 22 and 7 on the season and Georgia Tech drops to 16 and 13. We'd like to thank the University of Notre Dame for allowing PT PTV to cover the Irish courtside this season. Josie and Anna said it was a really cool experience to be a working member of the media and get this experience. Guys, it's almost that time of the show, PTV trivia time. But before the big question, let's recap the previous PTV trivia question. This video was captured by PTV photojournalist Juan Garcia. He was there when Mr. Barron's room cashed in on their delicious prize, a couple huge bags of Valentine's Day candy for winning last week's trivia question. The question, by the way, was, who is Batman's butler? The answer is Alfred Pennyworth. Well, PHS, now it's time for this week's PTV Trivia Time. So teachers, get your fingers ready to email us your guests for this week's question. This week's question is, what year was the first Academy Awards ceremony held? If you know the answer, email ptv at phs at gmail.com with your class's answer. For make sure only teachers email, no students. Again, the question is, what year was the first Academy Awards held? If you know the answer, please email ptv at phs at gmail.com. Then at 10.55, five minutes before homeroom ends, we will randomly select a winner, giving everyone an even chance to win. Before we call it a day here on PTV, let's check out what's for lunch. On the menu today is chicken and noodles, mashed potatoes, and a dinner roll. Oh, and real quick, if you are interested in playing baseball this spring, head to Coach Wolf's room during SRT tomorrow. If you cannot attend a meeting, please stop and see him in room 206 so he knows you want to be on the team. Tryouts will begin on Monday, March 13th. Well, PHS, we hope you liked the show today. Thank you for watching, and thank you, Hudson, for joining us here in the PTV studio to be this week's guest anchor. Sure, Matt. I had a great time being on the show. All right, guys. Tune in next Thursday for another edition of PTV News. Plus, find out who will be sitting up here as our next guest anchor. It may be you. Have a great rest of the day, PHS.